Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for uh, another topic that I'm going to be doing for best movies of 2021 so far video. And this time it's for movies, it's not for albums, because yesterday there was a lot of ground I covered with albums. But there was one album I missed out on to talk about, and that was Termina Dysphoria. And that was a pretty good album. That was really good, honestly. So now to talk about the best movies of 2021 so far. So I'm going to go through the list from 1 to 11 and let you know my thoughts on what I think of each movie. So let's dive into this video. Uh, now the first movie I picked was Palmer. That was actually a pretty good movie with Justin Timberlake in it and a few other uh, actors in the movie as well. So, I enjoyed it for what it was going for. It was pretty much he was taking care of this kid or whatever uh, after he got out of prison for something he did wrong. And he started growing attached to this kid and uh, wanted to raise him as his own and all that. So... It's a really interesting movie to watch. It's on Apple TV, but I quite enjoyed it for what it was going for. So that's the first movie I talked about, which was Palmer. The second movie is Judas and the Black Messiah. Now, this is about the Black Panthers, this movie is. And their uh, speeches and all that stuff that they did back in the 60s and close to the 70s. But there was a lot of shit going on then. I don't know because I wasn't born in that era. But uh, still, it was... I think this movie did pretty good for what it was going for. I think I gave it an 8.5 out of 10, if I remember correctly. But uh, I enjoyed it as a whole, and this was a very good movie so number two I picked Judas and the Black Messiah I know there's uh, more I should talk about with the movie but it's been a little bit since I've seen the movie so I'll have to watch it again some other time uh, the next movie I watched which is number three which is the Mauritanian uh, and that was a really good movie. Features Jodie Foster in the movie. Well, has Jodie Foster in the movie and a few other actors as well. And this movie did very well. It's about this guy uh, that went to prison for something he did not do. And they're trying to prove his in innocence. And it's based on true events, this movie is. And... Yeah, I was not disappointed with this movie. This was a pretty good movie. Uh, and the story behind it is so... Wow. <laughs> it's pretty intense story. So you'll be in for a really good movie for this one. So, number three, I picked The Mauritanian. Uh, so at number four, I picked Raya and the Last Dragon. This was one of my favorite movies this year, honestly. And I like the setup where pretty much Raya is believing that they can be Kumandra again. These other clans can all come together to become Kumandra in the world they're living in. Where there's dragons and all that. But... Then something happens to where they release the Droon or whatever. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've seen this movie, but I, I would definitely highly recommend buying this movie because it's definitely worth it. This is one of the best movies I've seen this year. And just uh, Kelly Marie Tran plays uh, uh, Raya. And Aquafina plays as uh, Sizu or whatever uh, in this movie. And 
I think Aquafina was very funny in this movie, to be honest. So, this was a very enjoyable movie, and I highly recommend you check it out. It's called Ryan the Last Dragon, and at number four, I picked Ryan the Last Dragon. Number five, I picked Zack Snyder's Justice League. This was a pretty good movie. Although, there was, it was like four fucking hours. It was very long of a movie, but it was enjoyable for the, the long-ass runtime. I swear, some Zack Snyder movies, they get somewhat confusing, but at the same time, they explain a little more with the story that I enjoyed about Justice League. Of this Justice League. The other Justice League that they made back in 2017 was two hours of it was cut out. Uh, but they wanted to add two extra hours with it for us, our entertainment. So you're spending almost half a day watching this movie. So, yeah, I had to watch it one of these days. I haven't really watched it since April 2nd, to be honest. So it's been a little while since I've seen it. But I had to take off work that day just to watch it. But other than that, I think Zack Snyder's Justice League was a pretty good movie. I did not like Amber Heard's British accent in the movie. It really sucked. And everything else about the movie did alright. So, yeah. Um, at number five, I picked Zack Snyder's Justice League. Number six, I picked Nobody. Bob Odenkirk stars in this movie. And this was actually... It was like a copycat of John Wick, but in a good way, it, its own story did very well. So, yeah, Christopher Lloyd's in it too, and I really enjoyed his character in this movie. He was pretty badass, and this was a very enjoyable movie. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be movie of the year, but... We'll find out which one's going to be movie of the year by the end of the year. Uh, but, yeah, number six, I picked Nobody. Uh, it has a lot of good action scenes. A lot of good fight scenes. And, yeah, there's pretty much some badass uh, fighting scenes in this movie. So, highly recommend you own this movie or check it out. Number seven, I picked Spiral. Now, I know this is not everyone's favorite movie, but I personally loved it. I liked that it was something that made it feel like a Saw movie. Because the last Jigsaw movie, the Jigsaw movie back in 2017 was horrible as fuck. I did not like what it was trying to tell the viewer. Um... Uh, explain to the viewer or whatever because it made it seem like the last movie was back in the past uh from when the saw game was happening through most of the movie and it really sucked this one has chris rock and samuel l jackson in it and this was quite a better movie. I actually own this movie now. I bought it like uh I think I got it last week on in the mail or whatever. So yeah, it's a very enjoyable movie. I got the DVD and Blu-ray one. So yeah. At number seven I picked Spiral. It's short of a runtime. It's like about ninety three minutes long. But it's not very long of a movie. You're in for quite a short movie. At number 8, I picked A Quiet Place Part 2. This was a pretty outstanding movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, it Emily Blunt plays in it. And uh, John Krasinski are... Uh, is the director of this movie, which this movie executed very well, and it's the continuation from the first one, where the first one left off, uh, The Quiet Place number one, 
and this one has a lot of great actors in it and just the story is really interesting because you have to be silent so the creatures don't hear you and they don't uh, pretty much sorry about the noise thing with the I don't know that's my phone or whatever but pretty much so the creatures don't hear you and kill you so it's pretty much you gotta be quiet <laughs> but at number eight is a quiet place part two I picked number nine is Cruella now this was a pretty good movie I don't know if it's the best thing I've seen in 2021 but it was enjoyable for the storyline and all that uh, pretty much Cruella de Vil was is a villain from the 101 Dalmatians movie and 102 Dalmatians as well uh, they made two movies of those back in the 90s with Glenn Close uh, so it wasn't that bad of a movie, but this movie really impressed me. I really liked the story behind it and just how it was well executed, in my opinion. I was, I definitely will see myself buying this movie when it comes out. But yeah, number nine, I picked Cruella. Number ten, I picked The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. This was a very enjoyable movie it was funny as hell too the jokes really land in this movie and I quite enjoyed it uh, I liked the ending scene towards the movie it really made me laugh like crazy <laughs> this movie's actually coming out on DVD in like two weeks so yeah it's not that far from now so yeah I'd highly recommend watching it and buying it so at number 10, I picked The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. It has Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan, uh, I think his last name's Gosling, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, I have to look into it again. Uh, maybe not Ryan Gosling. I might be saying the wrong thing or whatever. I have to look into it again, so I forget some actors' names sometimes, but pretty much, uh, yeah, highly recommend you check this movie out. And number 11, finally, the final movie that I have on the list is Luca. Now, this was the last best movie I got to see, and yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, it's a coming-of-age story, so... Yeah, it's about this kid, Luca, who is apparently a sea monster and comes up to the surface to try to live a normal life. And people find out what he really is towards the end of the movie. And some of them judge him, some of them don't. So they pretty much see his kind heart towards the end of the movie and that he's not as what they claim him to be like a monster or whatever so it's a very enjoyable movie and i highly recommend you check it out it's actually coming out on dvd in two days so yeah but that's gonna be it for this best movies of 2021 so far video comment below let me know what you guys' best movies of 2021 so far are and if you like this kind of long video comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel i will be returning to you for another video uh for the all-time low pma track review and then i guess i'm probably gonna watch another movie later today tonight or whatever so stay safe take care and as always i'll see you in my next review